Michael Brandt here with Garage Bound LLC in Chattanooga, Tennessee. What an awesome, muggy, hot day it is down south here in Chattanooga, and it doesn't matter because these two boxes overshadow any of that. This box right here, part number 3729-20, is the Milwaukee Deep Cut Variable Speed Bandsaw. And to go along with that, that's gonna be perfect for our new arsenal, especially from a mobile welding and mobile fabricating aspect, is the Milwaukee Bandsaw Table, part number 48-08-0260. We're gonna get these unpackaged, we're gonna put them together, cut them open, let's stay tuned, see what these tools can do. Coming down, I see you rising. absolute best parts about getting a new Milwaukee tool. They give you a list of other tools to dream about, see what you might need for your arsenal, see what might come in really handy. I think I'll start circling stuff one at a time, knocking this list off my list. This actually feels like you've got a real piece of machinery in here. It has some weight to it. it, has a place to screw your legs in. Pretty awesome. We got our new bandsaw installed onto the table. Uh, we had to install the chain and the locking mechanism. And then we used our square to make sure that the blade was square to the backstop. There are a couple adjustments here to do that. You can, this has a little bit of play in it, so according to where you have this set, as far as that canter there, uh, as well as your backstop crest here that holds it in position so that you can make sure your blade is at a perfect 90 degree angle to the backstop. One of the other things that we had to do is figure out why this block here that comes already assembled on this swivel part here is for a different style bandsaw than the one that we're using today. So Milwaukee includes two different styles of arm and that base block. These two obviously go to a different type of bandsaw. So we had to take and replace this block. It's really easy to pull the locking mechanism out from the backside, it's nicely machined. There is a spacer washer inside of there, a fiber washer of some kind that you have to put back in too. So this saw is pretty nice because if you take, pick it up like that, you can actually lock it into place there. The only other thing that we had to really do is that it comes with this stop here. This Allen screw is not long enough for this band saw, so we had to replace it with a 3 8 bolt, just a little bit longer bolt. That way when the saw blade comes down, it stops exactly. It doesn't need to cut into the frame, so you can adjust that. You put a jam nut back on the bottom, the original jam nut. No problem, pretty good. So right here, you have two washers back to back that are concave and then a, a, a nut and a jam nut. That gives you the tension that you want so it doesn't just come flying down. You can adjust it to where it'll power feed kind of on its own when you're cutting through this material. It'll just kind of come down through there just at the perfect tension. And we put a used battery on there, fired it up, and we'll do a cut with it. Right through it. Brand new 
Milwaukee blade. Let's see if you can see this. I still have just a tiny bit of adjustment to do. You can see it's a little high on one side, so I'll adjust that out and get this dialed in to where we'll get perfect true 90 degree cuts. Included into this kit is a 5 16 Allen wrench. So that is used to take the handle off and to put this arm here on. Bolts in the back side that are also adjustable so that we can get that worked out this way to get rid of our kerf. One of the other tools that you will need to get to do this is a 3 8 Allen wrench. This 3 8 Allen wrench will be used to take this mechanism here apart to, to change your swivel block. The last tool that you'll need to use to do this is a 3 quarter inch open end wrench socket. Those are for the jam nut and the nut here in the swivel block. Looking at the bottom side of this bandsaw table and it comes right here with threaded inserts so that you can put threaded pipe legs into this which is what we're gonna do. That way we can use it on mobile sites and it'll be easy to break it down and install. You can see there's jam nuts here. You could probably also use just solid tubing or you know solid wall tubing without threads or your other option are these four mounting bolt holes here which you could mount this to a table or a desk or a stand or a workbench. One of the coolest first features that I noticed about this bandsaw is that as soon as you pull the trigger, this LED light comes on which will be great in workspaces that are not well lit. One of the other great features of this Milwaukee bandsaw is the variable speed. So it goes from one, two, three, four, five, five is wide open. It's a clicking type system, it's not a roller, so if you have a preferred setting, then you can fill it as it clicks in and locks into position. This Milwaukee bandsaw does have a brushless motor and the Red Link Plus intelligence system. So. What that is, is basically an onboard system that monitors the battery status and the heat and temperature of the motor. We all know that heat is a motor's worst enemy, so this system is going to shut the tool off before it allows you to cause damage. Down, here, baby, down, down. A minute ago, I showed you our test cut. It did have a small amount of kerf to it, how it was cutting off. You can see that the right side is a little higher than the left side. And Milwaukee did a really great job of creating a system to where you can adjust this saw back and forth. The bottom bolt stationary, it has no movement, but if you unloosen both bolts, you can see here that you have movement to the left and the right. So if you move it just a little bit to the right and lock it back in, you can eventually dial this in to get a nice, true 90 degree cut. After making a minor adjustment to this arm here and that screw to give my rotation where I wanted to do it, I, I put my square up here, put it flat on the table like this, and I'm gonna lift it and lower it make sure that it traverses and keeps that perfect 90 degree angle and I have it set at a place I think is going to do really great. So I'll take, lock this down and we'll do another cut. Here I wanted to show how easy the chain vise is to work. You simply want to pull and take your tension up here, drop it, grab it again, take and put your claws over the chain. Pull back on it, hold it, and spin the wing nut. Locks it firmly into place. After adjusting that minor adjustment on the back arm, we're going to take and do another, another trial cut on speed five. See, we got it just about worked out. That's very close to a perfect 90 degree cut. And all, we're very excited and happy to have this new tool in our shop. Uh, our next videos will consist of uh, putting the legs on and actually using this in the mobile environment that we got it and that it's intended to use. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, uh, GarageBound LLC. If you have any uh, requests of other tools that you'd like to see us use from Milwaukee, put together and use before you uh, make the decision to buy, please reach out to us. Comment in the links below.